guys, it's Sassy Cassie, and welcome back to another reaction video of Naruto. As always, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers and anyone watching this video. Thank you guys so much for following me on this shinobi journey. Secondly, as a reminder, or in case this might be your first time watching one of my videos, that I have been an anime fan for a very long time, but I have never watched Naruto. However, because it's been out for so long, because one of my best friends in the whole world, favorite anime is Naruto, and because of the internet, there are just some things that I already know about Naruto. This is mostly like character names, maybe what they look like, no real major plot points. It has come to my attention that there may be things that I know that I don't know that I know, but I don't know what these things are until they come up in the show. So I apologize in advance if that bothers anybody, but we're just going to keep watching Naruto and enjoying it to the fullest. Now, before we get into the recap, I have a few announcements. Woo! So, a couple, maybe not a couple months ago, like a while ago, like at the beginning of this year, at the time of this recording, I had made an MAL or a My Anime List um, because a lovely commenter suggested it so that you guys would kind of know what I've already watched or what I'm kind of into. But I kind of forget that I have it. So I'm going to do my best to keep updating it because I did just update it to the best of my abilities, but I'm also going to make sure that I link it in the description so that in case you guys are curious uh, what's on my anime list or if you think I should add anything to my anime list, you can let me know. Second announcement. Some of you guys have been asking me either A, to create more content or and or B, if I have any sort of Patreon or PayPal. So. I'm sure that I have mentioned this before, but the reason I don't really do more than one video a week right now is because, again, I do work full time and I go to school. Those two things alone take up quite a bit of time, especially because at my job we have been working 60 to 70 hour weeks, uh, sometimes six days a week, so sometimes it becomes a little difficult to do more things. However, that doesn't change the fact that I would love to do more. The more I think about it, because I'm one of those people that overthinks things, surprise, I know that realistically I can't do more while I'm in school. I should be finishing school by next year, probably in the summer. So, I put a plan into place. I'm not gonna disclose my whole plan because that would just give away all the fun. But I will say that I am starting my plan by giving you guys a little something if you guys want in the meantime. So I created a coffee account spelled K-O-F-I, same thing, ko-fi.com, that is very similar to Patreon. You can create tiers and memberships with different exclusive rewards and content. However, they have something that Patreon doesn't have, which is why I created a coffee account instead of a Patreon. And it's essentially they have a donation option. From what I understand, you don't even have to have an account with coffee in order to make a donation or in order to pay your creator, aka buy them a coffee. That's what I wanted to start with. Because like I mentioned before, I don't really unfortunately at this moment have the time to make extra content even though I have so many ideas for all the extra content that I would love to give you guys and I've written them all down and I've planned it all out and so again hopefully by next year I can start doing those things but in the meantime if anybody feels so inclined to buy me a coffee the link will be in the description as well as on my about page another thing that I have already decided is that I will be doing a winter binge. Now, what does this mean? Well, let me tell you. I have planned a miniature vacation for myself 
after this semester is over because man oh man this semester is hard. My plan is to spend the majority of those seven days just watching anime. And A, getting further ahead in Naruto, I probably should be way farther ahead than I am, but you know, I go at the pace that I'm able to and I appreciate anybody that's still with me and following me on this shinobi journey. But I would also like to binge at least one season of some kind of anime. Now I know that is a lot, but I guess it depends on what anime we're talking about because a lot of newer animes tend to have 12 or 13 episode seasons. Some might have your typical 24 to 26, or if it's super, super old, it might be more around like 50. The point is, my plan is to binge something over my winter break. How does this all connect? Well, for anybody that wishes to buy me a coffee, or in my case, cactus juice, for $10 or more, you get to suggest a anime that I will be binging on my winter binge. I'm going to put all of those in a little hat or some kind of box, and I will draw which one that I'm going to be watching. If you decided to buy me a coffee for $20, you get to get two options. You can suggest the same thing twice. So say you wanted me to watch Demon Slayer and you bought me a coffee for $20. You could say Demon Slayer times two. Cool, so Demon Slayer's name is gonna go in the hat twice. But you don't have to put Demon Slayer's name in the hat twice. You could say, I want you to watch Demon Slayer and I also want you to watch, let's see what's on here, Black Clover, something like that. That is a slight incentive for anybody who really, really wants me to watch something very, very specific. So that way, you guys, if you wish to support me further, you can. I have been on the fence for a very long time about creating any sort of account that involves my supporters, subscribers, followers to support me financially or monetarily. But after talking about it with my friends and realistically myself a little bit, that why not just go for it and see what happens? Obviously, anybody that watches my videos, I super appreciate you guys because in a way you are supporting me just by watching or just by liking or just by subscribing. But I thought if I put the option out there and people wanted to take it, you could. And if you don't want to, you don't have to. And that's totally cool. I will still appreciate you guys anyway. I also have considered creating a social media account, which I am actually really, really bad at social media. So we would see how that goes. But if you guys are interested, please let me know those things and I will do my absolute best to make those things happen. I can't do a lot right now, but I will try my best to do what I can do for you guys because I appreciate you. And honestly, when I started doing this, I never expected to have such wonderful people commenting or liking or subscribing or just following me in general. So it is a huge honor to have you guys. And if this is something you're interested in or want me to go further in, let me know and I will do my best to make it happen. I know that was kind of a long ramble. I'm sorry I felt really awkward about it, but I got it out. I hope all the information is there. With that being said, let's get into the recap. So the last episode was kind of that fluff episode where Shikamaru and Tamari had finished their fight. Shikamaru decided to quit because he ran out of chakra. Tamari won by default. And then we just spend the whole episode wondering where the heck is Sasuke. And then Sasuke shows up fashionably late with his ridiculous hair and his really, really needs to take a nap eyes. He seems kind of different. And of course, my burning question for the last several weeks is, what happened on the mountaintop? I, I want to know. I know they'll get into it, but that doesn't keep me from wondering what happened. <laughs> ah. <sighs> okay. With that being said, none of our questions will ever get answered unless we watch things. So let's get into it. <sighs> Oh yeah, now the crowd stopped booing because this is what they've all been waiting for. All right, the rules for this match are the same as in the preliminaries. The match continues until one of you dies or admits defeat. However, I can stop the match, but that's solely my decision. Yeah, don't want to lose any promising ninja. 
Okay, he looks a little bit normal in this shot than he did when he shot showed up. Joji's just surrounded by chip bags. Hello, guy. Hello, Kakashi. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry about that. You must have been worried. You think? I don't mind. That's okay. <sighs> oh, Sakura. You can tell that's not how she really feels, but obviously that's something she feels she had to say differently. Or maybe something in her has changed. Or she's still thinking about that stupid curse mark. You know that there was a mark on Sasuke's neck, right? Well, is it... It's nothing to worry about. <sighs> I mean, so, that's hopeful. That's that. But also... She looks so tired, too. Goodness. Eight members of the Anbu Black Ops in an arena this size? That's nowhere near enough. What enough? Can be thinking? Enough for what? <laughs> I have questions. The Anbu Black Ops have probably been dispersed and stationed around the key parts of the village. Huh? It's How did he know what he was thinking? Okay, they know what's happening? What is happening? Watch this match. Is it? Kakashi, I'm going to be carefully watching your pupil to see if your training was any good. Okay. After all, I'm still your rival. Maybe I missed something, but does God, does the, everybody know what's going on? Both of you, to the middle. Yeah, he's got bags under his eyes. He needs some rest. Are they gonna sit down or are they just gonna stand in the aisle? I know that's kinda silly, but the tension. I gotta break it up with commentary. You know, now that I think about it, they did have that that one guy that died. Yes, okay. They do know something is afoot, but they're not sure what it is yet. What? Oh, please, I beg you, don't get so mad at me. What? Mother. Mother? I have, mm, I have theories. I'm sure that it'll taste so very good. <laughs> oh dear. Oh goodness, he's finally calmed down. <sighs> this is calm. He's been ready, dude. Oh yeah, Sen Naruto and Shikamaru are still the stairwell. That's right, I totally blocked that second half of the episode out of my mind. Naruto, do you remember yesterday? What Gara said? Oh yeah, the hospital thing happened the day before. <laughs> I'll kill you all. That's what he said. But then he didn't do it. It was the perfect opportunity, buddy. I don't know. It was like he didn't even see us or something. That is creepy. I guess right now he only has eyes for Sasuke. Also, random. Is Sasuke wearing a one piece? Here goes. How interesting. You know, I forget that Sasuke did not watch the battle between him and Lee because he was out. Yeah, 
Interesting. Bad move. What? He's fast, just like that other one. <laughs> Oh, I loved that part. Ah! <laughs> it is almost like a mirror image of my own taijutsu. I love it. So that's your sand armor, huh? He take inspiration from Lee, who is the best. Thanks for all your help, Anbu guy. So it looks like Hinata's gonna make a full recovery if she can just get some rest. Oh, is that right? Huh? What's wrong? He knows. Like you know this guy? Come on, there's no way you could. He's an Anbu black op. <laughs> Hold on, I don't get it. What are you talking about? At the examination? Who? <laughs> Run away! This is what he's talking about. <laughs> Akiba! What did he just do? <laughs> oh, I'm not okay. Why can't you just listen to your dog? Is he taking the same stance as Lee? Ugh! Sasuke, not original. <laughs> What's the matter, Gata? Is that all you've got? It does kind of feel like Gata is holding back a little. Like he's a gymnast. He's just like shoo 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 shoo. <laughs> remarkable, Sasuke. Really remarkable. You are truly a genius. A greater ninja than I ever imagined. I mean, how many years did it take me to attain that speed? And you achieved the same result in just a month. Again, wish to know what happened. What kind of training did he undergo? It sure looks like it takes a lot of stamina for him to maintain that speed. Mm-hmm. Tamati is very concerned about whatever is supposed to be going down. His tree. What did you two do? Huh? Yes. Tell me. I simply had him imagine Lee's movement and copy it. Sasuke mastered that taijutsu only because he knew Lee. Of course, Sasuke had to work very hard to master it, even with his Sharingan. Because Lee is the greatest! That taijutsu Sasuke learned from Lee. Can't suddenly work against an opponent that even Lee himself couldn't defeat. But Kakashi must have known this. So why did he have Sasuke master only taijutsu? Clearly there's something else going on. I mean, he's got like all these bandages all over him. So those are either some leg weights like Lee or something. And we're back to the stairwell. is this guy talking about oh yeah he relates to him <clears throat> shikamaru we have to go talk to kakashi sensei right now 
What are you planning to do? Hey, wait! <laughs> I gotta stop him! I gotta stop the match! Stop the match? Because of what? Suppose that works just as well. So he's used all the sand as a shield. Because of the sand's density, I didn't think he could create something this hard. Hmm. So he's absolutely protected. So now I have questions. I mean, I always have questions, but... Is this match actually going to end with a winner, or is it going to end because someone's going to end it for them? The guy Sasuke is fighting is completely different than the rest of us. He's about as far from normal as you can get. Naruto, slow down. What are you trying to say? He just killed two people. Is to kill people. Don't you see? If this continues, Sasuke will die. Okay. Oh, yes. The eyeball. It's that jutsu. This is bad. Gara isn't even thinking about our plan at all. Of course not. I could have told you that. I knew it. You've got to believe me! All right. So we have a mystery jutsu, Gata deviating from the plan, and everybody, well, not everybody, but Naruto and Shikamaru need this battle to stop. It's going to end this way, isn't it? This feels like an ending. Knew it. Okay, so things were accomplished in that episode, and things were not accomplished in that episode. So, of course, the battle starts, and we get some very impressive taijutsu from Sasuke, because, of course, he copied our boy Rock Lee, who is the best. But, as we know from watching Lee's battle with Gata, is that taijutsu is not necessarily enough, considering how crazy Gata is. That's, like, the best way I could put it. The, well, maybe the simplest way I could put it. But, we also have to think... Like, what Guy was saying was that why did he have him do that if he watched the match between Lee and Gata? And my only thoughts are that either Kakashi believes that Sasuke can do it better or more effectively, one. Two, that maybe he's using Taijutsu so that he doesn't use his chakra to prevent him from activating the curse mark, even though they did that whole sealing ritual on it or three that he has some other type of trick or jutsu up his sleeve that he learned that could maybe further help him in the battle my other thoughts and concerns like i mentioned before was that is this battle going to have an actual ending or is it going to be stopped because naruto is saying that this match has to be stopped so I'm curious if they're going to tell everybody what they witnessed, what they saw Gara do, what they witnessed him doing at the hospital, even though Guy was there, because he's the one that stopped that whole thing from happening. And then on the other hand, there's Tamati and Kankuro who are like, Gara's not following the plan at all. He just wants to kill Sasuke. Again, we don't know what that plan is, but obviously Sasuke has to be alive because Orochimaru wants Sasuke for some reason. And then all the while, there is... Kabuto disguised as an Anbu Black Ops and he knocked Kiba out <laughs> and I'm very curious what's going to happen there what's happening with that because as I did recall I remember asking that question but I do recall that they found that one guy the guy that looked really tired and was always coughing they found him dead because he was killed by that sand village dude so they know that something is going on However, they don't know what that plan is because the one guy was not able to deliver that message because they caught him and killed him. 
So Guy mentioned that there might be Anbu Black Ops spread throughout the village in case something happens, which I think would actually be really smart. But they obviously know something is going down because they're trying to be prepared. I mean, even Kiba realized he's like, something is going on here. Maybe that's why he got knocked out. But either way, this episode had a lot going on. My questions going forward, other than the fact that he was learning taijutsu, was... I mean, obviously I wanted to know what happened, but I guess more specifically I wanted to know what happened when Gata showed up, how that all went down, because obviously he lived, he went away, something happened. They had a conversation of some kind. But then also, still, what is this plan that caused Kankuro to give up his battle because it has something to do with his voodoo doll. As far as Gata goes talking to himself, like, he said he was sorry to his mom. So we know things went down between him and his mom, and we know that his dad, who is the Kaze Kage, has tried to kill him multiple times, but yet somehow still utilizes him to execute this plan. <laughs> The best way that I can describe it at the moment is he was apologizing to his mom because of what he did. And I'm assuming he's talking about how he, like, killed those guys in the hallway. But he said, I'm sure this will be, like, much better or much sweeter, whatever it is he said. So is he, like, referring to his mother? Like, is his mother the sand? Which is why it acts on its own to protect him? I have questions. But anyway, thank you guys so much for following me on this Shinobi journey. As a reminder, in the description, there will be a link to my MAL account and a link to my coffee account in case you guys want to check either of those things out. And until next time, bye!